Good morning. I'd like to introduce you all to Slateford House 1770. And uh, this is uh, our development in Edinburgh of eight flats. Two new builds with, um, this is a curved building and we're going to have sedum roofs on it because I'm a biophilic designer and uh, I like to look at making happy homes for people. So this is the um, great hall that we are in and this will be two one bedroom flats with mezzanine level bedrooms. And uh, this is listed, this is um, list C. And uh, if you could just look up there and see how beautiful it is. Um, actually, I've just been on the phone to my architect and I've got some queries back um, regarding uh, building control. And one of them is acoustics. And so it's, it's a main road outside. So we're going to have to make sure that we cut the noise from outside and uh, these windows are beautiful, but actually they already have secondary double glazing. So I'm always, always looking at my budget. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty thrilled about that. That might be enough. Uh, so also another thing that they are looking at after Grenfell is uh, fire and fire escapes. So although this is only a two-story building, I'm going to have to employ a fire officer to make sure that our exits and that our doors are uh, 60 minutes on the exit routes, 60 minute burning time. So I want to just show you here um, the our a fireplace. You can see it's all boarded up. Now I really study what my prospective buyer will want. And I have an ideal buyer. However, with this development, I have two, two um, buyers um, and they are from different ends of the age scale. One is downsizers. So in Edinburgh, we have downsizers with a lot of money. This is this house was built in 1770 and uh, it was built as a fortified house to stop uh, Bonnie Prince Charlie capturing Edinburgh again. So in Edinburgh, buyers like old houses that are made new on the inside. So we have a number of prestigious developments in Edinburgh because of the quality of our housing stock. And one of them is a very beautiful um, development called Donaldson's at Playfair, or Playfair at Donaldson's. And those houses are, you know, up to one and a half million for a flat. And, uh, you know, the design features are fantastic. However, what I'm aiming this for is a poor man's Donaldson's. So the people who cannot afford 1.5 million can afford my flats here. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm actually having to have um, another survey done uh, because we have changed lenders. And that's a great thing because we've gone from 10.5% to 6.5. As I say, I am always looking after my costs. So they might come in at any moment. So, but when I'm going for a new lender, then there are additional costs that are involved, like a new survey. So this is what's been done at the moment. And uh, I have chosen to be present during the survey so that I feel that I have done my best to explain to them exactly uh, how I'm going to be doing this. And this property will win awards. It will win awards. It will have unrivaled design and it will be fantastic value um, for its price range. As I say, I am aiming, aiming it to be like Donaldson's of Playfair in a different way. So what we're going to have is we're going to have a panelling on the walls. 
It's very important and something that people ignore are public spaces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have um, panelling on the curved stair on the way up and I'm going to have a Grisele mural. And in the, I wanted to put in stoves, but I am an eco designer. So what I'm putting in is bioethanol stoves. Now the fantastic thing about them is they're good for the environment and they're a beautiful feature and they, they don't require, you know, any fire proofing underneath or any, I mean, I would not get away with putting anything externally onto the walls here to lead out the smoke. So I think bioethanol stoves are the way to go.